Hi guys, I just got back from school and two parcels came in the mail. A suspicious black box. Programmable LED gaming mouse. Thank you. Why is there always so much of this paper stuff? My new baby. The 25mm f1.7. This was ridiculous expensive. It's an ND filter. Definitely did not order this. I was going to make this into like a main tech video type thing looking at the new lens I just brought. But let's have a quick look at it on the vlogging channel. I don't know how to do a tech video on it. But this is just for close up product shots. And it's like one of Panasonic's most expensive lenses. Had to pay extra to get it today because I couldn't wait for it. Why does it want to focus on my face? This camera always messes up. Do not buy the G7. Okay, there we go. Um, let's have a quick look at this lens. I've never brought like an added lens before. I've had four DSLRs and never brought like an extra lens. I'm a really bad DSLR user. This camera's a really bad focusing user. Let me move you back there. Hopefully I'll stay in focus. We have a lens hood, uh, user manual, and this is the lens. This is the lens. This lens is Panasonic's, well, one of their smallest lenses. Like, it's absolutely tiny. The lens I currently have on is their smallest kit lens, because it wants to make the G7 light. And let's have a quick look at this f1. Oh, it is tiny. This lens is absolutely heavy. It's heavy, but tiny. Can you guys see the focusing of this G7? There we go. Lumix G on front. It's cool, but I think it gives the ND filter. And this is not a zoom. This is a focus ring. You pull focus of this to get this cool shallow depth of field shots. I'm going to mess around with this to film the review on my sync stand I have to do now. And if you want to see that, you probably would have checked it already. If you want to see how this lens performs, go and check out our video. Oh, wow. Oh, my. That is insane. Can you guys see the quality of that glass? I'll try and make it focus. Can you guys see the quality of that glass? That glass is so... Wow. I can't wait to try this out. I wouldn't recommend buying this lens if you just got into the G7, but if you've been using DSLRs for years, I, I would recommend it. I'm going to try it out, get some test shots of B-roll, hope I mess I'll tidy it up and I'll return to this vlog. Just in case you wondered what vlogging looks like on this setup, like, look how to focus that background. It stays focused pretty well, but tell me if you can hear a focusing noise now. Can you hear that focusing noise? It doesn't want to focus back on my face. Come on, camera. Come on. There we go. Could you hear that focusing noise? Comment down below, because I'm not going to use it for vlogging. But it's quite a cool lens. Check out my tech channel how it worked. I still need to tidy my room. I'm going to put the vlogging lens back on now. With the vlogging lens, we go from this depth to here. So you can see a lot more of the frame. We don't have as shallow depth of field behind, but I think it's quite cool. Leave a feedback down below if you like the 25mm lens, because it is absolutely tiny. This here is about the same size as my vlogging wide angle, but it's just insane the stuff you can pull off of this. If you guys like the video I made using this, check it out if you haven't already. I need to put the lens cap on, so I do not want to break that lens the first day I get it. So I'm going to tidy up my room now, put some music on, get everything sorted, and then I'll be back. So guys, that is all for today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave it a like rating, and comment down below why you enjoyed it and what you did in your personal life today. This lens isn't like underexposing me, it's because it's so dark. It's currently 9 o'clock in the UK, and just look out there, like, that is quite dark to my window, but now you can see me better. And this lens doesn't even want to focus. Sorry for the shots out of focus, but whenever I drop this camera or just try and do something, I accidentally click the like manual focus dial at the back, gives it to manual focus. That's horrible. But your focus is not that bad on this camera. Anyway, I'm gonna get some sleep. I'm super super tired. And tomorrow at eight o'clock in the morning, I have a revision session, which means I need to leave this house at seven o'clock because I have some stuff to do tomorrow morning. Also, it means I have to wake up at five o'clock to edit the vlog. Well, I got about 5 o'clock anyway to edit the vlog. It's not really much of a big deal, I've just got to leave the house half an hour earlier. And it's mass revision, not even my strong point. That's kind of the reason you go to revision sessions anyway. But I hate maths. 
wish me luck guys i'll see you in tomorrow's vlog